been for one Delax Burlington wrestler. It's a chance to cap off back-to-back -back perfect seasons. Senior Corey Spooner comes in as the defending state champion and is the top again this year, meaning the goal is to finish out his career as one of, if not the top wrestler in school history. We've never had a two-time state champ, and so, you know, uh, Corey's got a lot of things that, that he's looking to, to accomplish, and, I mean, his main goal is obviously to win a state title, and, you know, there's other things that'll come along with that. The goal's no different than last year, and um, I think being satisfied in one is not even in his mind right now. A little different than uh, last year, where it was just solely focusing on being a state champion. This year, it's kind of focusing on being a state champion and also preparing myself to be a collegiate athlete, so doing things that are going to make me successful at the next level and I feel that's added to some of my style and uh, yeah I definitely want to when I get over there to uh, prove myself to the coaches. Now for Spooner who has already signed to wrestle at the Coast Guard Academy in Connecticut it's an extra special end to a high school career with his dad by his side the entire way as a coach all the way through his wrestling career. Absolutely very re rewarding as both a coach and a parent, you know what I mean, to see a kid that works as hard as he does and then, and then all of his goals come to be. It, it's really been a great journey for us as a family and, and even, a, a, you know, for Delax Burlington Wrestling. It's definitely been a special bond, you know, uh, sometimes being a coach's kid isn't easy. You're definitely held to a little higher expectations, but, uh, you know, it's something that I've taken on and, uh, you know, that I've really come to appreciate that little bit of extra pressure, that little bit of uh, higher expectations for me. And it's a special bond and uh, you know I look forward to uh, hopefully winning a state title with him by my side again. Class B individual action begins at 1.30 p.m. Thursday afternoon at the Fargo Dome and they'll begin with the 195 pound division.